DAF rectifiers were simulated in the previous videos are classified as uncontrolled rectifiers. Uncontrolled rectifiers provide a fixed DC output voltage for a given AC supply. A way to provide an adjustable DC output voltage is to use an SCR or semiconductor control rectifier instead of a diode. So in this video, I am going to simulate a basic controlled half-wave rectifier to produce an average voltage of 40 volt across a 100 ohm resistor from 120 volt RMS 60 Hz AC supply. First of all, we need to find the required delay angle from this relation. Alpha equal to cos inverse VO. 2 pi over Vm minus 1. We know Vo and Vm, so we can find alpha, which is equal to 61.2 degree. Now let's go to the MATLAB simulink. This is a blank space where we can model our circuit. You can use either library browser or you can do that simply by clicking on your mouse and type the name of element. For required control half wave rectifier with resistive load, first we need an AC voltage source. Click on your mouse, type AC voltage source. Then we need a thyristor. Select the one which is related to the specialized technology in fundamental blocks and power electronics. Since thyristor is a control device, to control the pulse of the generator, we need to add a pulse generator. Next, add a resistor type series RLC branch. To measure input voltage, output voltage, pulse generator, and current, we need to add voltage measurement blocks. Current measurement blocks and also scope block. Now let us arrange and connect the circuit. Put current series to the thyristor. To retest series RLC branch, first select, then press Ctrl key plus R. Connect pulse generator to thyristor. Double click on series RLC branch. From branch type, select R. And enter 100 ohm for resistor. Apply and click OK. Change it is name to R. Double click on AC voltage source. Enter 120 square root of 2 for peak amplitude voltage. Frequency is 6 hertz. Apply it and click OK. Next double click on pulse generator. Since we use the frequency of 60 Hz, so 1 over 60 is about 0 0.0166 second. Pulse weight is nothing, just the elapsed time or period of the waveform. No need to change, and I will put it as its default value. Phase delay is the delay angle alpha which was 61.2 degree. Since we don't have option to enter the value of alpha directly, so we need to obtain the delay angle as a second. First, find the alpha ratio, which is equal to alpha over 360 degree. In our case, alpha is equal to 61.2 degree. Then multiply it with time 0 0.0 166 second. 
and that will be around 0 0.0028 second. Apply and click OK. Next, add a voltage measurement plug to AC voltage source. as well as at the output voltage source. Since we are going to measure AC voltage source, output voltage, pulse generator, and the current, so we need four input measurement port in this scope. Right click it. From signal and ports, select number of input ports which is 4. Click OK. Now connect each of these measurement port to the scope block. Finally add power GUI block as the elements which were used related to fundamental block of the power system. Now our circuit is ready to simulate. Let's change the simulation stop time to 0 0.06 second. Now run the circuit, double click on the scope. To see each waveform separately, click here. and select four of this blank square. Scale the waveform from here. That is how our waveforms look like. This is the input waveform. This one is the pulse generator waveform. This is the output waveform. And this one is the current waveform. By changing the delay angle, you can adjust and control the output waveform. If you want to change the style and color of the waveforms, right click, go to the style. From here, you can change the figure color. Axis color. Let's make this one white and this one as black. Apply it. Now let's change the color of input voltage source. Active displays on first graph. Okay. From here, you can change the line style. Let's change the line width to two. Select green color and apply it. Similarly do for the rest. That's all for this video. I hope it was helpful for you. Thanks for watching.